Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And today I have a Morissette and Michael Pangilinan reaction video for you. And in this one, they sing One Last Cry and One Hello, which um, I've, I've done a lot of Morissette on the channel and I've done a few of the Michael Pangilinan. And I know that they're both incredible artists, both incredible singers. And I've watched them individually. I've watched Morissette do a few duets. But I don't think I've watched Michael Pangilin and do any duets. I think this may be the first one. I may be wrong, but I think it may be the first one. But I really am looking forward to this. I'll bet, I'll bet with this one. I'm not too familiar with the song itself. One Last Cry. I want to say Ariana Grande. I'm, I'm thinking it's her song, but I may be wrong for that. I, I really can't think of the song. I may know it when they start singing it. But I can't think of it. But it doesn't matter what the song is, honestly. Whenever I'm listening to Morissette, it really doesn't matter what the song is. But yeah, so like, I hope you enjoy this. And if there is any other Morissette or Michael Pangilin that you want me to react to, then let me know in the comments down below and I will get round to doing it. But until then, enjoy. possibly my brother <laughs> but I, I you might have been thinking like what's he doing like when she started singing this i was looking down you might be thinking like what's he doing i was actually on amazon music having a look and it's actually brian mcknight that there's there's a couple on there that i won't that came up which are a bit out there but yeah brian mcknight which i i would never have put this song and brian mcknight together so i don't really know the song too well but She's bringing Michael on there, so I'm really looking forward to this part as well. But she is incredible. Like, I, I feel like I don't even need to comment on how incredible she is anymore because she is just that. She is amazing. He's incredible, honestly. His voice is amazing. He he has one amazing voice. I watched him do a couple on the Wish Bus, which I actually want to do a Wish Bus marathon, like 30 days and 30 artists on the Wish Bus that I haven't reacted to yet because I do have a kind of weird fixation with that bus. But yeah, I think that's that's what I want to do. But it's weird because with this song, when Morissette was singing it, I didn't recognise it. But as soon as Michael Pangilin had started singing it, I was like, I know this song, what the hell? I, I still wouldn't have guessed that it's Brian McKnight, but the song sounded familiar when he started singing it. I was Nothing for me to 
It's really weird. I don't know why. I don't know if you get the same feeling with this, but like when Michael Pangilin and is singing, he sings it like a proper like old school R and B song, like with the croakiness of the voice and everything. Like it comes across as an old school R and B. When Morissette's singing it, it comes across as a Disney song. <laughs> it's really strange. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that's, that's how it comes across. But yeah, so like Michael makes it sound more R and B ish. Morissette makes it sound more Disney. But is it the case, I may be wrong here, right? because there may be a lot of artists that I haven't covered yet anyway, but it seems like in the Philippines that <clears throat> there's a lot more competition of who could be the best male artist than there is the female, because from the female artists that I've done from the Philippines so far, like for me, for everyone, my, my top two would probably be between Morissette and Katrina Velarde, even though there are a few others, nah, because even Gigi Delana as well, that there's, a, <laughs> there's a few there that could make my top five. But I don't know, it seems like it'd be a harder list to try and like work out who the best male like vocalist is there because I've seen a few males as well and like <clears throat> that they're a lot harder to actually rank than the women. Like I think for me Morissette would be number one anyway. But yeah, I don't know, I mean for the males it'd be a little bit harder. <laughs> That is honestly that that is one of the best performance like duets I've seen between Morissette and anyone else. That and probably even for like Michael Pangilin and that I would say that that's that's his best performance so far. And I still stick by it that they made it sound like two different songs. When she was singing, it sounded like something from like you think like Mulan or something like that from like a Disney song or like Aladdin or something. But yeah, you you think that. Like for Michael Pangilin and he gave it that proper R and B old school vibe as well. But I really, really enjoyed this. Like I said, this this is one of my favourites again so far. So I'm really glad I've done this one today. This one got requested quite a few times as well, and for some reason I kept skipping it and I don't know why. I shouldn't have. That was my bad. But guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other requests, please do leave them in the comments down below and I will get around to doing it. But until then, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. See you in the next one.